Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. This is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Let's go over creating a point status element filter. So to dive right in, I have my element filter dialog box open here. Again, element filter will be found in our utilities. So I'm gonna be wanting to create an element filter for me to be able to quickly find, isolate, hide, whatever else, my different points based on the status. So first I'm gonna say new filter. My filter name, I'm just gonna say point status. I'm gonna go into then my categories. I'm going to type in just GE because I'm gonna find my generic models. Select my category being generic model just because that's the category that my points are in. You can see I can do a hide unchecked category so it's gonna condense down. My group, I'm gonna say points. I'm not going to do anything with a subgroup, but you could do, you know, status or find or search or however you want to break up your different element filters. Going on from there, I'm going to say add condition. My parameter, I'm going to say family is equal to, I'm actually going to do contains just because it allows me to not be completely exact with this. My input type, I'm going to have consistent value. And my value, I'm just going to say EV. Now I'm going to add another condition. And this situation, my parameter is now going to be my layout point status. My operator, I'm going to again do that contains. My input type is going to be prompt for value. That's the most important thing because I don't want to do three different element filters for my three different statuses for my points. I just want to have it to be prompt for me be able to specify which status I want to be looking for. So let's run this. So I'm going to say point status, say select. My points are pre-embedded. So in this situation, I'm just going to say place for my input. So now I'm able to quickly select my points that have been placed. So again, there's three different statuses when it comes to our points. So placed, exported, and modified. So now let's go over when it comes to exporting these points. So you can see, I'm going to first select some of my hangers in this view here, and I'm going to export those points that I've selected. So you can see I have current selection based on my display points by. So you can see all my points are right here. I'm going to select my points and export them out. So when it comes to exporting my points, I can do a CSV file or a TFL. I'm just going to do a CSV file in this situation here. So now all of my points are exported. You can see my status is now exported and I also have that export date. The status within the points are awesome. You can create different filters to be able to see visually within your view the color change. Also, I can sort and filter my points based on my status so I can see really what's going on. So again, I'm going to do my input value as export. But let's say what happens if your elements move. So a hanger moves and that point was previously exported. So what's gonna happen? Now my status will be actually changed to modify, which is great because now with our element filter, I can select any of my points that have been modified. So now within a matter of seconds, you're able to see which points have been modified within your view itself by using an element filter. Again, element filter is a very powerful tool within Evolve. You can do all sorts of things. Just think about what you're doing manually when it comes to searching for elements or having control of your model. So that is today's Fun Feature Friday on creating an element filter for point statuses. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.